cares about the US. I'm just coming to study and go back. I want to do big things in my country. How are you, my friend? How do you do, my friend? Hey, happy Sunday, guys. Okay, because I'm shooting on Sunday, but happy any day that you get to see this video. Welcome to my channel. I go by the name Ademi Sabongo. If you're new here, you're very welcome. If you're old, thanks for sticking and watching and liking and commenting. I really, really appreciate, guys. Thank you so much. And I hope everyone is doing well. Your girl is doing well. And you can see she's looking... <laughs> fly <laughs> uh, even though the, <laughs> let me don't lie because that's why i'm not seeing well but i'm trying to concentrate okay so let's dive in into the issue of today today is the first part of our series and i will recommend guys let's speak our pens and papers because there's a lot of information to to pour out it's in my, it's in my body it's it's it's, it's hey you get you feel me okay guys so today's made today's video is basically about how to get an f1 visa using a community college but let's note guys whatever process or steps i will share with you today is something that you can use it even if you're applying um through a private school you're coming for masters you're coming for phd basically applying as an international student entails the same process all of us all of you are going to go and get an f1 visa when they say f1 visa is because you're going as a student so be it whatever school the process is similar now um below i'll attach a link i mean the description where you can see so many community colleges you just need to make your choice the difference with the one i used is that maybe some of the community colleges you need to pay um tuition fee before traveling but for the community college which i use which is called houston community college as you can see i think i'll attach it in the video um you don't need to pay tuition fee so all you need to do was just pay the registration fee which varies from 50 dollars to 100 i mean when you now pay charges and everything you can go up to 110 but um basically that's the range right in my for my school i paid 75 dollars so um what what makes the difference right the difference is that maybe there can be a switch or a difference in the process the steps but as i said all of us are going to once you're coming as an international student you're going for um an f1 visa and the process is the same so first and foremost you log in you say community colleges if you have already chosen or if you want to go through my own community college which is houston community college that is in texas the states um again it will show you apply so you apply very basic application once you apply everybody they give you a conditional acceptance letter right meaning there are still conditions you have to fulfill to now get the unconditional acceptance letter or the service from i20 which you use to fill um for your visa application so once you get it now you have login details and everything in your email account uh now you're ready to go now they will it will take you to this portal where you have all these documents that you have to meet up with before you get the unconditional acceptance letter we have what they call the i20 form um and this for you to get so you apply for it like where you fill in um what what you want to study and all your details and all of that when you fill that in you send to the school they will go to review it maybe it will take about 10 to 12 businesses they, they come back to you with now the acceptance saying okay yes we have approved and this is what you've been studying and all of that but for you to get the official form that you would use to apply for your visa you have to go through the um in the, um, the u.s portal so it's uh the link is there when you fully see the step the link is there you just click on it and then it will take you to where you make the payment which costs 350 dollars is the same as i said for whichever school you're applying you have to pay this fee of 350 dollars it depends on the country where you find yourself um they will tell you how the means of payment but you can literally access it through any country where you find yourself in okay guys now another thing you need to know is the affidavit of support so you have so if if you're the one providing the bank statements like you're the one supporting yourself and paying the institution fee 
okay you just need to feel it train that you're the one but if someone else will be providing a bank statement for you then the person will have to fill the affidavit of support form it's just a form that you download the link is really attached in all the steps i'll be posting like screenshots so you guys can have an idea of what i'm saying um so you just basically feel the person feels that link um that document signs and everything but that's the person that provided you with a bank statement so of course you have to get your bank statement first guys this is the time to pick up your pen and papers okay oh god i got stuck there <laughs> okay that was that was commercial break hmm? so first of all once you're applying to come and study in the u.s from a third world country or a developing country you are assumed by default you are already um an immigrant meaning they're already assuming that you're coming to stay so by all means you're there to prove them that hey, i'm not coming to stay who cares about the u.s i'm just coming to study and go back i want to do big things in my country that is the mindset you have to have all through the application to see you go to the embassy so even from the bank statement looking for someone that will provide you a bank statement so if for example it's your brother who stays in the u.s it's really a little bit suspicious because you have to explain back it up why <laughs> you will not remain with your brother in the u.s there's a high probability that after school you might just want to remain there you get so i will advise that you look for someone that is not in the u.s or someone that you don't have a direct tie with a direct relationship with but this person is able to support you but best 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 is when the person is out of the u.s maybe canada germany wherever even in your home country it's easier to prove and back up that no this person will pay for me or your parents or someone that is not in the u.s so let's be like we have you have to be very careful when you're getting a bank statement it's a big part of the requirements guys so and your bank statement the, the income on your bank statement has to be a little bit more than the tuition fee so the tuition fee for houston community college was twenty two thousand seven hundred usd so okay you're looking for something that'll be maybe 23 24 25 the higher the better as long as you're able to back it up you feel me like are you feeling me are you feeling me at this point yeah yeah that's what i'm saying so by default you are an immigrant right so you need to be ready to prove under all circumstances hope you like this video if you have any questions guys please 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 put them in the chat um in the comment section thank you guys for the love and the support and all the questions from the last video which motivated me as i said consistency is key i'm here to stay just see a simple stay let me flaunt my french it's not easy to be bilingual or to be from a bilingual country you get guys so please like share please like share subscribe because you don't know who is out there that is just waiting for this information to be pumped up to build up the courage because sometimes there uh, people just lack but the courage to even be, go and apply for this thing or well, assuming that i've already failed no wake up wake up collect your money no collect <laughs> Collect yourself. Go online and start applying. It costs nothing. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to help you. Because after that, the school has nothing to do with it. They are just waiting for you to go through the visa and everything. And then um, you come, you, you fly. They have done their own part. Once you get that letter, they have done their own part. And then we'll also make video. I mean, there's a lot coming. Videos on the documents you need to go to prepare for an interview. What you need to prepare for an interview everything 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 hope you like the first part of the series looking forward to making more videos i'm really looking forward to your questions your comments please share i can say like 25 times because really really not just for me but for me someone out there that is just waiting to get this information and to wake up wake up and act thank you so much for liking if you stay to the end of this video you are a shining star if you do not stay, you are still a shining star. Eh? I hope you enjoyed your weekend and the week. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be looking at how to fill this form that you be the form the form you use to apply for your visa, which is called the DS160 form. But if I see any gaps in anything I've said in the comments, I might still do another video too.
elaborate expand shit open shit you feel me but <laughs> if not we'll continue dear jelly so bye bye and see you guys in the next video and maybe by then my british accent will have been elevated but if not we'll be managing the ones that we have <laughs>